There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. Marcus has become a member of the All Right. No, no, no. Is it a hospital bed? Did I guess it right? Did I guess it right? Did I? You guessed very wrong. Very wrong. Oh, yeah, very wrong. I was based on physical, physical appearance, not not emotional or mental ability. Physical, physical appearance. Physical, physical appearance. My physical because it was appearance. scary. <laughs> Kissel, oh I hate to tell this to you, but honestly, you're like your picture's like right next to Boogaloo Boy <laughs> in the fucking about? dictionary. You look Knicks. just like one I love of them. The Knicks. I like no, the- you like basketball, oh. but that's the only thing that truly separates you looks wise. The- no, it's that the, is not true. I do not look technic. No, oh my God. No, first the, of all, Henry, you're dressed like a Richard Spencer. Like I'm just a neo thinker. Uh, like, you're just like so. Oh like- no, I got my occultism and parapsychology, and they don't even cover how this gets into weird, like fascist thought in any way, shape, or form in this book. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the last stream on the left. Hope everyone is having a fun Tuesday. What a difference a week makes, huh, folks? Um, oh, I'm yeah. wearing a gammy sweater, Lizum, because it's cold inside of my apartment. It's, it's cold in here, and I don't have the heat is broken. So I thought cold. it was a really nice sweater. I was actually Isn't commenting nice. I mean, on it. Yeah, this is. You cool. like the sweater. People are already being like, oh, he's got the sweater. AP English teacher Amy in the bad seat says to me, everyone's to call me soft boy. But soft AP boy. Is- English, you're getting roasted by someone named AP. <laughs> no, they're call- They're saying I look like an AP English teacher. Oh. But I, it is interesting because um, it's just a sweater. But I well, heard soft Henry- boy is a compliment. Huh? No, I don't is think it? it is. Uh, definitely not. But no, yeah, definitely no, soft not. boy. But- no, because you're like. Boy- no, because soft boy is a, it's a it's like it's just a guy. All he does is eat pussy and listen. Untrue, but I would say this, Henry. Can you utter the sentence "Meet me after class"? Because um, then, but you have to. But you also want to have sex with. You're this- gonna need to do something to get these grades up, little girl. <laughs> you need to get something to do to get these grades I, up. You, but that's not the sentence, though. You grown big titted woman. Wait there a you second. Go. You're supposed to be in high school, but you are definitely 27 years old. Uh huh. Maybe Drew Barrymore. Maybe he never been kissed. And I'll kiss you. No, you want to say meet me after class. Meet me after <laughs> class, you. No, Henry, meet me after class, not... you homeless woman. No, Henry, you're supposed to say it in a way that was like, you want to get your grades in. Meet me after class. Hey, hey, couldn't help but notice I could smell your pussy in no. the classroom. <laughs> You've done it completely wrong. <laughs> No, you have to have the illusion that she's meeting you after class to get her grades up. Yeah, so this is about the extra credit paper, huh? Oh, God, you have an idea how hard it is to grade all weekend? You have done a horrible job of wearing that sweater. <laughs> I don't like watching teenage... I don't watch teacher porns. No, I don't... That, this is, anyway, Marcus, this is... Uh, my mandate. Teacher porn, by the way, is so... It's one of the purest forms of porn, considering what's on that hub now. I don't like... I don't... I don't do the teacher one like recently i saw one that was the um these weird ones the other one because i remember last week i brought up the one with like the white cops with the black guys getting arrested but the other one i was thinking it's the one with the shoplifters uh yes the shoplifters shop. caught yeah yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. But you, for caught some on tape. Reason, they never catch me when i'm stealing cigars and bring me to the back room and force me to blow them uh i don't know why <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yes, it is indeed my mandate. So let's, you know, so let's just start with uh, something not really spooky, but almost spooky. And then we'll get to the spooky. Spooky, we, uh, Jason! Because I mean, that is what, I mean, not to cast dispersions or anything, but on the Halloween week stream, we were a little light on spooky. Whoa, little that little was my stream. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> noticed. We were not Somebody light on noticed. spooky. The whole thing, by definition, is spooky. It was doing <laughs> videos that I sent up that I watched on my back, hanging out with Jerry, and I shared them with the world. That's horrifying. I mean, honestly, <laughs> your living situation is spooky. Don't even bring up the fact that I currently have a roommate again. <laughs> Somebody's got the roommate. I'm going to murder Travis, you. I already I knew exactly that. You're like, Travis Irvine's only going to stay for three days. And I was just like, uh-huh. and then it's like, you know, in Hanukkah, when the oil was only supposed to last the week or, you know, like, <laughs> you're like, hmm. Well, much like, oh, much that like homeless <laughs> filmmaker. 
he's definitely, he's definitely Didn't much he? like most Jewish holidays. It is a bit depressing at my house right now, but that's okay. And yes, Travis Irvine, it is not three days. He is staying until Thanksgiving, in which time he will go back to Ohio and then he will come back in and he will live in his own place. Uh huh. Yeah. Didn't he show up and start putting up posters? I took the posters down. Trump is just <laughs> setting up a run in 2024. I am not. Don't even. It's way too inside baseball for even anyone to find fun. <laughs> yes, when you do end up having a lot of friends who still are in the entertainment industry, and amazing, I love Travis Service, but occasionally you have to help them out and open your doors mm-hmm. and uh, and hope your dog doesn't fucking escape, because if that happens, then he's going to be a dead friend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with a video. It's a cat. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Harry, ah! put fur on that thing. Listen to him. Oh! <laughs> this is a form of anger. <laughs> it's frightening. Why is she laughing? I don't know. <laughs> You're just being mean to the cat at this point. Oh, why is it? Oh, it looks like. <laughs> My it's buddy, a hairless cat. My buddy I actually, is one of those hairless dogs, and you just have to pretend. Yeah, I was I, watching right now, but it's like sometimes you pet it, and you're like, I could go for some fur. Our friend's got a little hairless dog too, and it's kind of fun. It's weird how like soft the dog's underskin is. Like yeah. the skin is soft, and you can kind of like you can really feel its muscles and everything. It's, it's interesting. Like a snake. Yeah, that's how Georg- Georgie's like underneath one of her little arms, underneath her little chicken legs. She's got a real soft little spot right there that I like to reach in and tickle. And she likes it. Because she can't reach that spot. She does she can really traumatized every time we see her. She can reach that spot if she wanted to. You're just telling yourself. But I do. I also think that Wendy's armpits are fun. Yeah, yeah. I just have to, I have to I scrape my dog's dick every night because it can't reach there. So I just scrape it off. Scrape it. And and some dog, and I say, I've seen your dog reach reach his dick. Oh no, my dog, I have to actively separate it from itself. <laughs> it's like one of those, it's like a freaking seatbelt on an airplane. What? Because he's always sucking his own dick. He's a he goes into bagel position, which is like, oh, he's a bagel. But then you realize he's sucking his own dick, and then you're like, you got to snap. Oh, well, nothing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I it's just a flip, love the like look. A Nokia flip phone. Watching Wendy look at me with adoration, and then just start like eating her own pussy, like she's fucking <laughs> Tara Reid. It's pretty oh, incredible. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, great video. Great video. Thank you. But hey, I love let's, it. Let's, let's keep it. Let's keep it going. Let's visit. A Russian festival. This is a festival in Russia. This is very real, and the Russians actually do this. Oh, Keeper of Terrace, are we really very muffled? Ooh, this is cool. Whoa, what is this? This is honestly awesome. I mean, it's definitely a sad event. It's a Russian (laughs) celebration. (laughs) What is this? This is called, like, drifting... Fucking drifting, the sweeps. drifting butler. <laughs> it's so Whoa, scary. And is that the Kremlin in the background? Oh, it looks like it. This is like a nice part of Russia, I guess. It's so. It's man, that's got to be hard, dude. Yeah. But it's good for Halloween. This is not celebratory, though. It's so gray and sad. This is no, this is kind of, I like how kind of spooky, but you know what? In Europe, as we've discovered, they do things that we find incredibly spooky and weird and fucked up. And they are just like laughing and shit like it's normal. Right. Yeah. The long history. What's um, going on? DJ everyone, Maniac is back. What's going on? Is bro? everyone hearing us okay? Yeah, yeah, they're hitting us. We're hearing us. We're all good. Okay. But you notice that, like, how they have, like, they'll have, like, a thing that they do where everybody's, like, laughing at her. Like, it's some kind of joke. Like, they're, like, they're clowns over there that go, like, scary. (laughs) And then, like, you see kids going, lolly, lolly, lolly. Yeah, that is a a holiday. It's for a holiday in Russia called Maslenitsa, uh, Eastern Slavic uh, traditions. Uh, That roughly translates to Butter Week. Oh! Oh, welcome to the Iowa State Fair. I love Honestly, it. You can <laughs> see the feel- Russian politicians doing their stump speeches right by all those people who are kind of floating next to them. Do you think yeah. Paula Deen's doing her like Milo Yiannopoulos moment and like becoming <laughs> like huge in the Europe and like the weird like uh, free speech zone in Europe? Paula Deen. She just she made the mistake with the plantation themed wedding. 
You she know? really did. But you know, you got to take that up. You got to take that up. Everyone had to agree. Like the the bride and the groom had to be like, we should celebrate our love. We can't. In, we can't in start Antebella, being, in the antebellum. This South. is not going to be the Paula <laughs> Dean apologist string. <laughs> I know. I'm not. I'm not this apologizing. Not I'm just saying a lot of people I'm say that. I want to talk about butter week, week here. Okay. It's also known as Butter Lady. And it dates back to second century AD. It's the oldest surviving Slavic holiday. It is oh, a sun huh. festival personified by the ancient god Volos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. According to Raffaello, 1337, um, what the fuck do all those haunted chimney sweeps have to do with butter? <laughs> well, that's a good question. That's a great chat question. Gigantic churns. Oh. Those are supposed to be churns? Well, you I don't know. So I'm just guessing. The yeah, Amish. they ain't not turns, man. That's not turns. <laughs> the Amish are really, they're not, it's frowned upon to masturbate, so you got to go churn the butter. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way to get it out. How you often gotta, do you think in those relation, these religions where it's like super, super naughty to masturbate that they do? I mean, obviously, I feel like everybody masturbates. Also, why isn't euphemism, why isn't a euphemism, a, 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 a euphemism? I just had a stroke. Why isn't uh, it a euphemism for jerking off, churning the butter? Churning the butter, I think it is. It is could it? be. Okay. But it's but I, yeah, you gotta have yeah, a big one so. though. Yeah, you know how you know how it is with me. Oh my god, I always have to, I have to oil me. up the very top of my dick <laughs> yeah. because it's up here. I have to really get it going up here at the very top, like starting a fire. You ever see that show alone? Uh -huh. It's really important. You pull it all the way up and because yeah. my thing is, when my dick gets hard, it actually gets smaller. Isn't that something kind of goes inside? There are also those TV shows, Naked and Afraid, Naked and Alone, Alone Without My Wife. Uh, there's a ha there's camera crew. Along with my wife? I've never I'm seen naked, a show alone naked without alone. my wife. Oh, oh, hold on a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, did we start the stream? I <laughs> oh, I... Hold on. I don't we, can't, we literally... I think that... You know what? There, there were the some rumors today? that this might be the last stream ever. And I no! think that a part of the reason why that this is... It's because of the Tubin jokes. Oh. It's because of Jeffrey Tubin <laughs> and what he has done to streaming. Mm -hmm. But the administration... It was on Zoom! Objective... What a mini, what the current administration is doing to objective reality, Tubin has done to the safe world of, of zooming. <laughs> well, if you can't jerk off on camera in front of all of your uh, in front of all of your associates, then maybe well, actually you can't. You just yeah. Can't. I also saw a uh, fun tip today for all you people out there doing regular zooms. Uh, be careful when you're wearing glasses because everybody can see what you're looking at uh, reflected uh, in the lenses. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you learn that? Uh, there was somebody just said like life pro tip. Don't wear your glasses during a zoom call or be very careful about what you watch. Oh yeah. Wow. dude. Can people just not watch porn all the time? Sometimes it's it nice. That much. Sometimes it's, just it's nice to just have a picture of boobies just there it's to center you. I don't know. <laughs> it's just it's the same way where it's like I don't need to look at pizza all day because then it just makes you hungry. And if you can't eat the pizza, then you're just sad. Yeah, but then if you can make your own pizza all the time, it's not as good as delivery, but it's okay. Did you just describe marriage? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, hey, ladies and gentlemen, today. You haven't no, you haven't even mentioned this, Mark. I haven't. I haven't. It well, it's uh, it it's a bit of a private matter, but yeah. well, is it private? It's your wedding <laughs> no, anniversary. No, 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 no. no, it is it's my your wedding, wedding oh, anniversary. Oh, yes. oh. Yeah, one year anniversary. Yes, you did wow. it. You beat marriage. You made it past. You made it past the seven month itch. The seven. It's the seven year itch. No, time is so crazy now. Time's so crazy <laughs> right now. Man. Seven months is amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Well. Who's up for some farting? Speaking of being happy. I have been mentioning farts the past nine days. I, I never really mentioned the farts, but fart humor has been making me laugh lately. It's your, literally your whole, it's your whole. No, that's, life. no, that's untrue. Um, I actually don't mention farts that much. Wacko Macko 15 says, we've caught people masturbating at my work. Where do you I, work at? Arby's, McDonald's? Please don't yeah, be Yeah, I'd like food. to see. Yeah. Hey, man. Apparently, that was the thing that Ron Jeremy used to do. He used to go to the bathroom at the Rainbow Room, do whatever he does, which is probably why he's in jail. And then he would come out and touch all the bread in the kitchen. I know. We talked about this. I ate the bread. He ate all. He touched yeah. all the bread. That was from an yeah. inside source. We've all eaten the bread at Rainbow. We've yeah. I the, yeah. Don't eat the, I bread. the bread. Don't eat the bread. 2021. Don't eat the bread. Don't eat the bread. Don't well, eat the if bread, anybody, no carbs. If, if anybody out there, if you eat, does bread give you gas? Do you guys get gassy when you eat too much bread? A lot of sourdough. Yeah. Can I ask? Can I ask this? Has any one of you 
I've noticed whenever I smoke my first bowl of the day, I always have to take a huge shit. It's because huh. you do it in the morning. No, I do it. I do it in an <laughs> afternoon. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. No, I, I'm not a. I'm not a smoker shitter myself. No but one if ever you got has gas, to shit. Okay. Yes. If, if anybody, if any of us have gas and we got to take care of it, here's a helpful tutorial from a lady on YouTube who's going to show us how to get rid of that gas. Let's see. What I explained in my last video is that I've seen this. Once you get in this position, you're releasing gas, but then <laughs> it's actually sucking in gas too. So I can. This is very this like 1800 way. science. She is pretending like Out, this isn't porn for a lot of people. Thank you, Master Shake Shake Six Six. That actually makes me feel. Gas good. coming back in, and you can <laughs> do the battle like this. Wow! Whoa! And it's gonna keep coming back in. So once you feel it in, which I feel now, you need to sit up. Whoa, Mama! Man, that's fucking too juicy. She's got to be careful with that. How'd she stay on the way. ground. Oh, it's Blacko active. Macko, the bathrooms of a grocery store. Huh. But I prefer oh. to just sit like this, Jesus. relax Sad. a little bit. It's amazing. It just all comes out. And this is something I've suffered for years. <laughs> what? She suffered? Funny or sexy video. What? This is a disgusting fart video to help people who have stomach pain like me. Oh, that is not the reason. But you get in this position. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I, you know, I I, I should have put money behind forty OnlyFans. God bless her. Oh wow, Ooh. sir! Holy shit! Did she it swallow fucking Dick huh? Cheney? Holy oh, shit! Is Ed Asner Wait, in here? Here's the here's the time. All this has been building up inside you. So please, please try this. It saved me. Just go what a great, what a really hot right. date with this. All right, let me see this. So she, I had a really hot date with this chick, and then, um, did you did you find out what she did online? Let's see if I can <laughs> fucking. Let's we'll see what I can get down there. Oh All my right. god, she's there a beautiful go. woman. And there we go. All right, you're gonna suck okay. it in. You have to t take your take your AP English teacher sweater off for this because we can't <laughs> get people that horny. Right. It's just gonna play into some strange fantasy we don't want to unlock in someone's mind. Okay. Arch your back. You got to arch your back. Put your butt up. Put your little butt you gotta, up. You got to put your as far butt. as it goes. No, no you got to put you got to put your shoulders down on the ground and arch your back. Be an attractive woman. Be an attractive woman. <laughs> it helps if you're an attractive woman. Yeah. If you actually fart, the show is going to be canceled. Honestly, I think that if I try to fart, I'm going to shit. <laughs> you know what? I can't. Let's move on. We Wait, have well, to have some I... respect. How are you getting? Okay. Don't fart. Okay, here we go. Honestly, really, I, I can't push I saw, it too hard because if I do, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. All right, I, yeah, I did see good. this. I did see the sphincter muscle contract. I did see that. He's you literally trying. see it because he has no butt cheek meat. <laughs> um, all right, well, good job, Henry. Unfortunately, you're not going to be a YouTube star, an Instagram star, a Pornhub star, or maybe get a cake and try to fart on that. See if that works. All right. Well, very nice. Very <laughs> nice. Um, Marcus, yes. what other videos do you have for us today? By the way, that's not easy to do, sucking the fart. Not easy. No, no, obviously not, because I just try to do it, and I can't. No, but she she wasn't wearing – she was not wearing jeans. She had her butt, Eric and Flo. She was just wearing the face face mask for her butthole. But there's still so air. My ass truly is so thin and small that I have so much room in the back of my jeans that you figure – It'd be easy. Yeah, you would figure that, but I guess it's harder than everything is harder than you think it's gonna be. Twenty twenty. It really is. I didn't have that on my twenty twenty bucket list. No, it's bingo. <laughs> oh, I didn't Off have that list. on my bucket bingo time. No, it's just twenty twenty bingo. <laughs> oh, twenty twenty keeping you when guessing, you huh? Some, no, when you see something you weren't expecting, anything can happen, huh? When you see something you weren't expecting, you say, "Oh, I didn't see that on my twenty twenty bingo." Yeah. Not on your 2020 bucket. Guess what, man? Yeah, I didn't see it in the fucking my 2020 rifle scope. Oh. All right. Well, this next video, okay, so we, we can all agree it's been a stressful week since last Tuesday. It's been Fuck a stressful you. week. Fuck you, you <laughs> fucking piece of shit. I feel good. Yeah, uh, you, just, you just attempted to fart on camera for the pleasure of 18 people. <laughs> it's a but big it's been a stressful week. And so you, when it's, you have stressful times, you need your calm down videos. 
Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of great calm down videos out there. And I found a really fun new calm down video for me. This one is called Ducks Eating Slugs. Let's calm down together. Ducks eat slugs. Ducks are fucking scary, man. Wait, no, I like the sound. I like the music. Breathe in. Focus. All the good things in your life. All the things that make you happy. You're just a duck in a tube eating slugs. Things that make you human. Duck is very thrilled. Things that make you think. I don't Exhale. think this makes you think. Inhale. This is the fart video again. Think about when you were a kid. That does and... not make me comfortable. Yeah, I don't feel good. That was not fun. <laughs> I, feel scared. I feel scared. Yeah, being a kid is horrible. That's eat slugs. Think about I, the cycle of nature yeah. and how all things must pass. But as bad. as one thing passes from existence, another is nourished. Are they going to start to shit? <laughs> Given life. You know, I do think that these, these ducks have it too easy, though. Obviously, this is set up at some kind of duck buffet. I don't think that they had to scour and scavenge as much as they should. No, let it in. Let it in, Kissel. Yeah, let it in. And that's the thing, Ben. If these if these ducks are being set up, then isn't that wonderful? Isn't that oh. great that someone loved ducks enough to set up an entire slug buffet just for them? It, no, it it's tells you something they're, good. They're all going to be eaten. They're all going to be eaten over Christmas when you go. You don't have the turkey ready, and you just have to eat a duck. Yeah, but guess what? I don't want a skinny duck. Yeah, exactly. And these ducks look like they're oh! going to be living a pretty good life. That one duck just knocked over all the water. This is so cute here. Listen, you guys, just, you can really feel it. I feel like a duck. Relax. Let all your troubles wash away. Let me go shoot these ducks. These ducks are so murderous. That's why everyone's like, oh, don't eat, don't eat the ducks. It's like, look at these ducks. Look what they're doing. It's genocide. Be the duck. No, they're eating fish. They're eating slugs, man. No one wants slugs, slugs in the garden. Can't have no slugs. No one wants in ducks garden. in their garden. I'd like ducks. I'd love to have ducks in I'd my like garden. I'd like to have a duck in the garden. You would have so much PTSD from your childhood if you even saw a duck. Sometimes it's just nice to sit out in the grass and it's at nice what to point, sit with your clay plots and it's nice to. At what point, though, do you wake up and you realize that you are indeed the slave to the ducks? Documentary. You no know, he shit, really no ducks were harmed. Obviously, it was all the slugs. Actually, he did uh, he did miss an opportunity to call it a duckumentary, but that's okay. And now I'm pissed, Marcus. I was relaxed. <laughs> wow. I was relaxed this whole time. <laughs> of course, it's a duckumentary. <laughs> or, or, uh, 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 a, a real quacky film? I don't know. Yeah, it's quacky. Kissel, these are the times where you can really allow. It's called mindfulness. Yeah. What do you mean? Mind, fullness. Mm -hmm. What do Bring you mean? Bring them together. Fill no, my mind, my mind is mind. constantly full. It's it's immense amounts of anxiety. It's constantly full. I wish it was less full. I woke up at three p.m. to do the side stories today. I woke up at three p.m. to do side stories today. You called me. I woke woke me up. You up. <laughs> yeah. but mindfulness. Mindfulness. That's, Henry called me at two fifty four today, uh -huh. and I was like totally awake, and I was like, I thought we were doing three. And he's like, well, even if we were doing three, you would still be asleep, wouldn't you, Ben? And I said, isn't that interesting how you've manipulated my life to fit your life? Oh, I am. I'm <laughs> I'm about to walk away. <laughs> I'm about to walk away. No, I did. I had, because I, had I was just so chill. Very uncomfortable time sleeping because of the current situation. That oh, I'm you had a new roommate. <laughs> but that's why what I think you do at the same time, Kissel, that's why the ducks was so important for you to watch and for you to absorb when it comes down to it. Yes. Is Travis not on like a bunch of slugs I all over your clay pots inside rent. of your home? Yes. No, you are taking care of Travis. Travis is now your son. Yeah. <laughs> Travis Irvine, not Travis Morningstar. Yes, Travis Irvine. No, Travis not Morning. Me. Not no, me. He, I he's Travis paid a living Morgan. wage. Yes. Yeah. Travis Morningstar is paid a living wage, and he can go out into this world and do as he will. We're not hiring Travis Irvine just so he gets out of my house, although could we? No, absolutely not. So we could, uh, no discernible talent? Is if we call it... <laughs> If we call it a I'm donation, joking. if we call it a donation, 
and we say that we're raising him. Now we're just lambasting one of our friends. You did. You started this. <laughs> he moved in with me and tried to hang up posters. But remember this. <laughs> now that Travis is all those slugs, right? In one way, you can say, I'm just a stuck. I can't believe I'm surrounded by all these slugs. What a hassle. Or you could understand that those slugs are a resource. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Henry, this next video reminds me of you. Oh. Let's see it. <laughs> it really does, though. I saved this video for my mandate. <laughs> that is literally, that is literally my sense of humor. That's my literally sense of humor. <laughs> well, it's just so what's he saying it's so <laughs> nice. oh my god carry the glove i love him <laughs> I like it. I Joey, it's, it it's simple fun yeah it is simple fun it's but an only... honest laugh and you know what's so funny that would work whether it be on a stream or you're a nurse kids dying of cancer <laughs> my thing though is that get out of here with this patch adam shit get me chemo <laughs> but chemo right, with get out of here i don't need a man a with a fucking because guess what i now know about the man that heals me with the clown nose on he commits fucking suicide okay um, that's what no. happens to the funny doctor you know what happens to the cruel doctor that gets rid of my tumors he goes and buys a vacation home and lives until he's 90 little laughter with a little chemo helps the cancer go down the hole i don't actually know but if i was a nurse i would say that little laughter with a little chemo helps the cancer go down the hole. <laughs> little laughter with a little chemo help maybe uh, do we have any oncologists in the chat the no they're all, too, they're all why would they be here they might why all, would an oncologist they might be here butt cancer <laughs> well that's, so guys do you remember when the internet was a little more innocent like no. 10 years ago no so I, don't, honestly, I don't i like, don't a little more innocent know. like when when we all believed that the internet was like this it was this wonderful tool that was going to take us to the next phase of humanity and we would use the internet for anything do you remember that i remember i remember the guy with the dreads yeah. yeah, I remember but Steve. I remember Steve Jobs also fucking died. He's also fucking dead. Well, he, he didn't. Well, he didn't get the chemo with the smile. He, he didn't yeah. send the cancer down the hole. <laughs> fucking Bill Maher. <laughs> what about Bill Maher? He's out there. Yeah, he's out there. But let's return. Let's let's return to a simpler. To he is out there. He's absolutely. I out hope there. not. I wish not. I actually <laughs> believe that. Anyway, no he's one, on the loose. No one wants him out there. But let's return to a simple time about eight years ago to tell to a video forever, that tells us. That here's what you do with the internet. Here's he what you do. Over Pakistan killing innocent people. It was different. It was different. He, he did fucking he, he Downer, Jesus yeah. Christ. Oh, okay. We're having fun now. We're having fun. All right. Let's just go back to a simpler time. Okay. <laughs> my name is Derek Bills. I live in Irving, Texas, and this is my wife, Andrea. We were on our honeymoon, and we were in Mexico. So we went to one of those open markets to get fruit, whatever we needed, and we got a pineapple. We got back and he was like, okay, how do I cut this? What do you mean, how do you cut this? You cut it. I didn't know how to cut a pineapple. I got on Google and I typed in how to cut a pineapple. And the first page that was on the list was how to cut a pineapple.com. I'm gonna die. It was I'm kind of I would rather watch a job entertaining a watching him grab a paper towel to wipe his fingers off before he scrolled down on the website. She's sitting there laughing at me. And it was quite an experience, but I did get cut the pineapple and it was pretty good because we've never had fresh pineapple. I really like Google the search because it usually finds exactly what I'm looking for right on target. Oh my God. Just cut to him. Pretty good. Searching how, how to find a new wife. How to, yeah, yeah. How to kill your wife. How wife to gets fucked by, wife gets <laughs> fucked by a horse. Jeez. <laughs> Um, Google literally seeped its way into our lives in a perverse of disgusting way to destroy humanity through pineapple videos. <laughs> well, that was the first layer. Oh, it, was the, starts. it starts with the pineapple videos and it comes to, it goes all the way to how do I kill my child for insurance money? <laughs> <laughs> you want to search that on Bing. You always go to Bing for, oh, yeah. for those purposes. If, if um, we learn nothing from Casey you know, Anthony. Yeah, I just remember because it really did. It started very fast. 
It did start with this little information, but you just didn't know that every single time you typed in something, they coded your location and you, the what, other things that you searched to figure out what your age was and what your profession was. And they were slowly but surely building what would become your internet permanent record, where if you look at the Instagram algorithm, they know you better than you have ever known anyone in your life. They know More than your yourself. secret thoughts. They know who you're going to vote for. They know mm -hmm. what they, they they already they got you. They got you. So everybody's upset about the devil's mark being in the vaccines when we got the phone already narking on every single human being that fucking exists. Well, and also interestingly enough, pineapple makes your cum taste better. Yeah, it does. Also That's on Google. Also <laughs> found out on Google. I haven't uh, personally experienced the taste of cum. I don't like to be snowballed. Oh, speaking of cum, oh, you don't like? Have you tried it? No, I have not been snowballed. No, you haven't. You haven't. No, I, you okay, guys did I, your I, rituals. I did not. I, I never did, ate my cum. I though. did my no, secular I humanism. I I looked on. Yeah, you you just did that. No, I, I never didn't ate cum. cum. He no. I thought you tried your cum. I tried my cum. Yeah, but I didn't yeah, so eat it as a part of a ritual. That was just you know. He's Let's talking see. about on the. He's talking about off the clock. He tried yeah. some cum. <laughs> yeah, what does that even mean? <laughs> no, no, no. Technically, what I did is worse because if I would have eaten the cum for a ritual, then I would have done it for a purpose instead of just let's see what happens. You are making the argument of someone who shows up to work drunk and then their manager is like, "You're drunk at work." And he's like, "I got drunk before work, and I'm actually here. I'm not drinking at work." <laughs> well, speaking of cum, okay, so Tanetta. Tanetta is one of our favorites, oh, right? Love her. Yes. Everyone loves, everyone loves Tanetta. But you got to ask yourself, how does Tanetta make money? Like, what are the Don't little things? <laughs> I, actually, that makes me sad. Honestly, I heard that they were in charge of, I, I honestly think Tanetta is in charge of counting votes in Arizona. Come on, guys. Well, <laughs> Henry, you are just, come on. Come on. is Bill Maher Look with at us right now? <laughs> the man, the B. Funny thing is, Tanetta is Canadian. Tanetta is not American. Tanetta is Canadian. And you're about to hear that Canadian accent on full blast oh, in this no. video from Tanetta. This is not a music performance. This is Tanetta explaining how I, he, I mean, it's in this form, it is Tanetta as a man. This is how he is uh, making extra money uh, by making uh, nipples for people. And the process that, you know, <laughs> he goes through to, to make that happen. Oh, uh, all right. All right. Um, that's so great. Honestly, this. it's nice to see how the sausage gets made. Are they yeah, real? Yeah, yeah. We'll see what the nipples are. Yeah. Very yeah. So let's let's watch this video called oh, Tanetta's fans, Sperm Factory. I just want to show you a few things over here. I want to show you. Oh, wow. Uh, That's Tanetta? This is so cool. I'm actually glad we're nips. seeing this. Here's two right here. Oh, That's scary. That's a little scary. It's a bit of a rattle. I had two of these. One was already sold about maybe a month ago. Now, oh, just wow. yesterday, another one was sold, oh. so this one's going to be probably in the mail. What I'm going to do, too, I'm going to give him a gift of this little sperm uh, on a string. <laughs> They're both on a string, as you can see. Wait a second, what but is I that? I want to show you, first of all, I how nipples. I go about making these, I think it's a radish. these items. Nipples. Come uh, over yes, here. Okay. I don't need to see the kitchen. Oh, wait, wait, Very wait. Very interesting. Shush, shush, shush. What I have here is my uh, no, sperm. Don't. There's about oh, maybe God. four or five jerk offs here. Like, I don't know. Jesus! Come a lot. Anyways, <laughs> that's what I do. And what I do is I mix it. I liquefy this, heat it up, and I mix it with gelatine. It's right up in here. That's gelatine. I use about wow. two teaspoons along wow. with this. That is so gross. I heat it up over here look at that once it's liquefied i go over here i, I am pour just, it so into I, what did the former tenant do with the place he bought a lot of cum you wanted six hundred dollars <laughs> see shaped like a nipple or whatever a nipple yeah and as got you can that. see it's hollow in there and there's and cum in take that take the shape because what i do is i put it on here once it's, this is all liquefied, I pour it in there, and then it hardens. And the result is right here. This is the result. I made another one because I sold now the two. So I have to make another in case somebody orders one. You don't so have to. Is, no. There you go. It's the nipple. That's, 
He's selling cum this nipples. Well, how much are boiled. they? It hardened already, but it's not completely hardened. It'll take a few days, and all I do is peel it off. Then I have this, you see? <laughs> Eventually, God, it really does disgusting. shrink. It shrinks into this shape here. Where does it get the and red from? it hardens. Like he crazy. paints it on. He paints it on. I get some coloring, and I just go right around it. I am just... Give it a little bit of flavor. And if you smell this, you right want a now, little flavor. So do you eat it? Oh my it god! Smells oh. just like cum. okay. Well now it's easy. oh he says it smells because like cum. It is hundred. <laughs> I would assume so. Yeah, it's cum. So tonetus cum. Anyway, Thank fans, you. that's how I go about doing things. Uh, you may think it's a little weird, but no, the hoarding is a problem. Isn't that what you've always told me? Stay weird. Well, I can't help but stay weird because I am different than all you people. I'm kind of a different breed, and um, I like it that way. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Take care, yeah. fans, and ta-ta for now. Yeah, TTFN, ta -ta fucker. Yeah. Okay. I, the, 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 the video does American go on group. for another three and a half. It, that's not ta-ta for now. It does go on for another three and a half minutes. Like and what does he do? One. He just kind of does this for <laughs> <a while. laughs> He just keeps playing <laughs> with his little cum flower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's, that's, all, we, that's all we need from tonight. We need three and a half minutes We need to trace whoever bought those, and if they are going over a child's crib, to keep them wow. occupied as they try to sleep, that person needs to lose their child. You know what I'm thankful for <laughs> for that video, Marcus? And I want to say thank you because every once in a while, something still comes, and it's just nice <laughs> that we can still be surprised. Yeah. I can still, you can still keep them guessing. I didn't have, I didn't have, <laughs> you know, cum, cum nipples on my 2020 bucket list. <laughs> I'm, I, you know, huh, you know what I didn't have on my 2020 bucket list? Suicide. <laughs> that would be incredibly hard. You have to be on drugs like Artie Lang to do that. I don't want to do it. Nope, don't do it, please. Mm, but wow, man. Man, he sat and he thought about the process. Ugh. He had this idea. He was. He went, he looked at his loads, because five or six loads, that's still a lot for five or six loads. I didn't think it was that know. much, but again, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to get into it. I think he said three or four loads. He said and five I, or six. He said I five he or said, six. I think he said three or four. Did he say five or six? I'm not sure. I'm just I, saying it's incredible. There's a wide gulf between three loads and six loads. It's a lot of comp. I am fair, trying to find out how much, goal. how expensive those are. I'm five sure. loads per, oh, well, whatever it is, that amount of comp per nipple. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot oh, well, of, I mean. There's one on I, Red Tube that's just called Tonetta Tired After Eating Cum. After mm, cum eating. Sperm, well, nipples, and So, aspirin. yeah, that is a lot of cum. My cums come out like, hey. I, uh, can't, find, I can't find how, well, perhaps they're sad, and that's why you can suckle as a child. You come from weak sperm. I don't know how. Uh, wh what do you think it's selling for? What do you think it's selling for? Five dollars. Uh, ten. Seven ninety nine. One dollar. I can't yeah, find it's the just, evidence. It's right, you, have, you have Google <laughs> Now, because Google has evolved, it went from how to cut a pineapple to how much is Tonetta, Tonetta's cum nipple. Did you spell I did it correctly? In, I did type in Tonetta nipples for sale um, instead of how to cut a pineapple. Anything good? Yeah. Uh, oh, Tonetta on Etsy. Let me see here if this is now. No, no, no. That's somebody else with the name Tonetta. Man, Someone that's dumb. Up, bullshit. <laughs> Someone else named Tonetta who wants to sell like really nice Fabergé eggs just gets emails and be like, I'll have a couple of those cum nipples if you have any of those left. I didn't see them on your Etsy. I really <laughs> wish that you'd stop. Really stop. Please stop messaging stop. me. Stop. <laughs> Man, he has such a gigantic presence on Bandcamp. He has so many songs on here. There's Big Dick Friday. <laughs> There's My German Lover. There's Lady Divine, The Tongue, Two Men in He's Love. A, I mean, honestly, all he does is he prints hits. <laughs> he really is. He is um, incredible. He oh, is man, incredible. I want to hear My Dog Rusty. I think oh, yeah. It comes, that. The video is called Tanetta Sperm Factory. Yeah. All right. Well, Marcus, anything else? We have 20 minutes to fill. Plenty more. Plenty uh, more. No, yeah, let's more. do it. Plenty let's more. go to Atlanta oh. for this next one for a, uh, I would call this man a freedom fighter. <laughs> let's see. We need it. <laughs> do we? Yo, I want you to check this shit out. It's like almost 1130 <laughs> in the morning and I got all these joints. You see these joints? 
and I'm right in front of the FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation Headquarters in Atlanta, that Georgia. Is. See that sign back there in front of me? Back there? And back of me? Yeah, Dan. I'll tell you about everyone. Well, I got these joints. He is well outside of the building. Man, I'll be there with you, buddy. I'll tell you what you'll do, man. At 12 o'clock, because it's 420. And woo, right back woo. there is that guard shack. Man, and I already man, told him I'm going to be here at 12 o'clock and light these up. Oh, my. And they don't seem to care. Ah. <laughs> uh, We'll see. <laughs> oh, okay, let me turn it off. That is the one sad thing about legalization of marijuana or decriminalization at the federal level, which should be happening soon. It's not as fun when they don't care. Uh, you know, he, I wanted, wanted, he say wanted this. to get spanked, though. He you, it's because you're new from New York and New you York. still feel it. Where now I like, I love the fact that you could just like. No, I love it. Walk too, down the street. Could, but for that guy, you know, a part of his entire image was like, it's not legal, but I still like to do it. It makes me chill down, you know? And I think, like, how can you go fuck with the man when the man is like, what you're doing is just fine, sir? It kind of ruins it. I think he's got a bunch of views that are no longer applicable. <laughs> <laughs> or heavily applicable, it shouldn't be, but. And the thing is, we're actually, we're going to find out what happens when he sparks it up in front of the Atlanta FBI office here in a bit. We're going to see it. We're going to watch another video before we get to that. We're going to wait a little bit, but we're going to see what happens. It's also the freedom fighter ends up fighting. The Atlanta FBI office. You can imagine how little they give a fuck. The GBI might beat the fuck out of you. Yeah. What's the GBI GBI serious? Georgia Georgia Bureau of Investigations. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. the, The Atlanta child murders, all that. Yeah. GBI is serious. And they didn't like it. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there are what new now four more states where uh, weed is legalized for recreational use. We're about to be able to drive over to Jersey. We're going to be going to Jersey City for some. Go to Chris there. Christie's house. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to go to Chris Christie's house. I can drive up to just Oregon. Just got a lot more groovy. Yeah, man. <laughs> I can drive up to Oregon and get heroin. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! Get cocaine in Oregon. Guys, so I've, been on, doing, Ellie. I've been doing a lot of thinking about how to build the brand, and I've decided what if I start doing a bunch of heroin? You guys carry the load. You carry the load. I'll do a bunch of heroin for eight years, and then boom, we got ourselves to behind the music. We're gonna carry the load now. But now yeah, we're gonna now start we're gonna the start. Load. But now we're gonna start. Now we're gonna start carrying the load. Now, great. I'm gonna go up to Oregon <laughs> and get heroin. <laughs> I was about to say, what's his name? The guy that was the bass player from Guns N' Roses. You just heard, you can't. Duff McKagan. Yeah, I don't think you're, I don't think you're Duff. Duff. <laughs> no, Duff was the drummer. No, Duff McKagan was the bassist. The drummer, the, the first drummer, drummer was, St- the first drummer was Steven Adler, who was replaced with Matt Sornum right around the time of Use Your Illusion 1 and 2. Not even Axl Rose knows that. <laughs> no, he doesn't remember. <laughs> no, Stephen Allen, that's where the spaghetti incident comes in because the spaghetti incident is from a court case uh, in which Stephen Adler sued the rest of Guns N' Roses. Oh, incredible. Spaghetti. Okay. I don't know yeah. anything about this. You should do Guns N' Roses for No Dogs. We might. We absolutely might. Honestly, yeah. I have that's the only one who's accepted. I've asked for Bad Company. I asked oh, for Bad the Company Eagles. is one album. He doesn't want to do anything Fuck once. The you know, bad, bad company. What am I gonna do? Fucking fog hat next? Yeah. I looked up the history uh, of fog yeah, hat today. New fog it's hat. Fucking then. boring. You know, I looked who, up the history of fog hat today for the fucking Joy Division episode, and it's fucking boring. That's unfortunate. <laughs> it makes Henry me sad. Not listened to a song <laughs> outside of 1991. Not true. Time. I listened to Orville Peck. Okay. Very good. Love Orville. Great. Very. No one, everyone's very proud of themselves for listening to Orville Peck. I very like him. Good. I like his song. I, I, I know, but everyone him. really, they, they really lean in and let you know. I really <laughs> like him. It's because I got obsessed with him. Yeah. Let's see another video. This one's out of Brazil. <gasps> Duke Warren. Eu achei, Ana, que a minha risada fosse ruim, mas a sua é pior. Oh, she's cute. She is. That's mean of them. Is it bad? Are they making fun of her? No. What am I watching? Ah. I'm in hell. Oh my god, I'm in hell. 
You guys like catching the contagious laughter here? Do you want to hear laughter? Oh my god! That is awesome! Oh. You ever wonder? That's Honestly, fucking that sweet. Is actual uh, footage of the mind of Dave Attell learning to hate the sound of laughter. That is every <laughs> comedian that's like, I want to make them laugh. And then at some point, the laughter turns to shrieks and it turns into black and white squiggles. And then you just slowly, slowly fade away. What's his name? We were talking about the, that Kenneth Copeland uh, video that came out of him sarcastically laughing for four minutes it was also very frightening. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very frightening. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a very lot strange. of money. He'll be dead money with those laughters. A lot of money. He will be dead soon, like all the other fuckers. Maybe. I hex oh, yeah. them. I hex them. <laughs> well, let's see what old. happened with 420 Man. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. I want to see what he's yeah, making. Let's yeah, see. Nah, nah, nah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. He's doing cool. All right. Mm. Wait. I'm smoking the weed in front of the FBI headquarters. And I'm driving away. How gangsta is that shit? I get yeah. He might get drug out of that car. <laughs> Jesus, buddy. What is that song? He's chilling, man. So I, the, the word is it's a vibe. He's married. Oh, look at this shit. Fuck yeah, man. Wow, that's either a, married or married at one time. Now, do the neck things work to actually cool the neck? I've seen no. those out there, but I don't know. Do they work? Some people like them. I don't know why. They, they seem like one of those future tech things that make it look like it's not like it's like it's it's like when they had the Google glasses and you're like, that looks like it's out of the 1940s. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have Google neck brace anymore, man. They don't yeah. want the people with neck injuries to know more information, dude. I think you can get a Google cock ring though, and it does register how hard you are, how hard you get the blood. I don't want it. I always you say don't do that. that information. Don't send the information. What you meant like a cock ring app? I don't yeah, need you can, that. Oh yeah, you can get a cock ring app that literally that breaks down every single thing. How how good you're fucking, how big it gets, all the whole thing. Apparently it's it's fun uh, for someone to I don't need to more look at that. Apps to show how mediocre my penis is. No, I don't need a spreadsheet to tell me. I, I yeah, know. yeah, I know. I see I look at the eyes of my wife. Yeah, those are the like, but you can see the dials. Yeah, those <laughs> are the uh, eyeballs. It's never great when you can see her saying the words. I signed up for this. Like, She's her, only ever. She just writes that. She she told me she writes I it in signed, her journal first. I signed up for this. Huh? There is a uh, yeah a vibrating cock a Bluetooth remote control penis ring vibrator that has its own app and everything. It's got voice control, music yeah. control. Oh my god! Unlimited I have mine on vibration right patterns. Co the custom vibration patterns. I have mine on right now. Oh my god! What what is that? Oh my god! It's the it's the death voice. It's the death voice of Alex Trebek. He's <laughs> telling me to get harder, get harder, get harder. Oh, well, isn't that is. nice? That is actually very nice. It'd be nice if Alex, Alex Trebek, Trebek, if he's now that he's dead. I wonder if he can come to each one of us as we make love and put a hand on our back and can, be like, "Give it to her this time, boy." Can I say this? Henry and I were talking about this on Side Stories. True talk. They got to make that goddamn robot, the machine that beat everybody, make that the host of Jeopardy. I don't want to see another human be the be the host of Jeopardy. Who are you gonna place him? Ken Jennings. No, It'd he's be great. Boring. No, he's not. No, be great. Ken he's great. Jennings. I would rather watch tapioca pudding commit suicide. It is not good. No, Ken. <laughs> you Jennings are. Boring. Don't you do this? The fucking the Jennings army is gonna come out and fucking take us out, dude. We I have like to him. be careful. Everybody, like it's him. like no, it's like when it's like when Michael Jordan wants if he wants to be a head coach. You can't. You can be a great player, but you can't be the coach because you just mm -hmm. can't relate. I don't think that Ken Jennings. What is he going to do? He's just going to chastise people for getting it wrong. No, he's not. He might he's not. Made. That's he's what a Alex nerd. Trebek does now. Alex Trebek has been chastising people for getting it wrong for he's, thirty years. He's, he's Canadian, Canadian, and he's, he's Canadian. mean about it. Well, he's, he's passive aggressive. He's Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> you never watched Jeopardy? He's yes, very he mean. the greatest. He lived the greatest Canadian drunk life ever, and he's an, he's a hero. 
He used to actually, that was the, I guess, the, the story about him for many years is that he would fucking just be hammered Lit. as yeah. the day goes. But guess what, man? That show shows how good he was at his job. And yeah. that just shows no one knew. How, and he apparently had a very dirty mouth as well. You got a dirty mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but that just shows you the duality. Mark Summers of Double Dare, you would think he would be the one hammered, totally sober and scared of anything dirty. Mm hmm. Hmm. That's true. Oh yeah, I bet Alex Trebek could get dirty. He get dirty oh. with anything. Yeah. Oh yeah, Alex Trebek. He'll fucking. He does that thing. You ever seen Reverse Missionary, where the girl goes in the front, like the guy pulls his dick and balls past his legs, like past the other side of his asshole, ah. and she fucks him from the front where she's doing the missionary. But like no, the guy not... is spread eagle. I yeah, the guy was... is spread eagle like this. And uh -huh. then he pulls the dick down, and then she right. kind of slams on the front like she's like fucking. I literally have handymen in the house right now, literally, I'm doing, <laughs> like literally, it? like slamming into this into the vagant, and that's uh -huh. like that's what he was doing. That kind of. I shit. thought that was, I thought that was called going full camel. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see another cultures. video. Okay. Honestly, we're out of gas. Honestly. Honestly, we're out of gas. Honestly, we're out of really gas. strange. Apparently, it's called the Amazon position. The oh, Amazon fault. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Dylan Cunningham. Yeah. He, special yeah, thanks. Yeah. Yao Ming. Yao Ming. Great. He's doing great stuff, actually, in China, although he's a little um, bit attached. Shatterwolf says, apparently, Ken Jennings has said on his podcast he has no interest in hosting. Oh, yeah. well, he would say that. Well, the yeah, person who's trying playing to, hard to get. Well, it's because mm -hmm. he's being appropriate and letting time pass because the guy who's horny for it is George Stephanopoulos. If I see George yeah. Stephanopoulos' face, I don't want to see anything mm -hmm. to do with that man. It no. has to be a give me somebody new. Give me someone green. Give me somebody Tom Green. <laughs> oh, shit. Tom Green's going to host, host fucking Jeopardy, dude. That Tom Green needs to host Jeopardy. Ah. And you know what you could do? Let's double dare it. Bring in Jeopardy together. Let's start sliming people when they get out of there. Slime people. <laughs> you know what I was also thinking, all right? They can win a dick sucker machine or, right, number one, that's the top prize. You get a dick sucker machine or what we what do if you're a lady? traps. We set traps under the shit. They can fall through holes if they also get stuff wrong, like too wrong. I yeah. love it. I love a it. Let's Daily Double has two nude identical twins. Identical twins come out with the big, they got the sign saying Daily Double and shit. That's a fun time. Get a guy doing fucking donuts. Yeah. And front. if you're a lady, you win one of those kink.com fuck machines. Yeah, they're winning. Pants, oh pants, my pants, God. Pants, God. Pants, I, I named mine Filbert. <laughs> Good Lord. I've seen those things before. That's pretty space. If I ever got people married, are really onto it. People, are, the, most people are saying no, but the people who are saying <laughs> yes to Tom Green are the people I like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. if they say yes to Ken Jennings or George Stephanopoulos, I guess whatever the hell his name is. Yeah, if George Stephanopoulos gets a George St Snuffleupagus, Snuffleupagus gets probably George a bunch of young kids. If he gets in there, man. <sighs> Actually, the like, I have I have the uh, the new host for uh, Jeopardy right here with this next video. What? Oh, this great. guy's great. This Breaking guy's great because this is this is public access television. Wow. This is him showing that he is, in fact, a force to be reckoned with when it comes yeah. to the host business. Oh, yeah, He's a multitasker, <laughs> which is what a Jeopardy host needs to be. Oh yeah. So let's watch this man. Um, DJ Maniac says there was a show called Remote Control. Hey, everybody. Were, were, welcome yes, back great, great. to another exciting live edition of Let's Paint, Let's Cook, Let's Play Chess, and Let's Run on a Treadmill and take your calls Whoa. all at the same time. Okay, I'm your host, John Killiff. We're taking your calls. There'll be the number there for you to call. We're going to go on a you better three, start running. three miles an hour, 3.5 miles an hour. That's hey, okay, walk. we'll take your calls. Bernard, I got the first move there. Boom. Oh, okay. shit. Okay, let's do a fried egg. We got the Love fried it. egg going on here. Don't be trying to bluff me, Johnny boy. Okay, fried egg sandwiches. <laughs> Taking your call. All right. All right, I'm going to uh, go. Painting questions. Cooking questions. <laughs> oh, it's my turn, okay? All right, I'm going to go there. Oh, you're going to lose go this Lakers. game. I'm Darren. I'm Darren, I mean, I'm a Knicks man. fan. You're going to lose this Darren. game. Okay, excuse the French. Whoops. Okay, fried egg sandwich. There we go. Boom. Wow, Get that's not easy. Oh, oh, oh that's <laughs> not working. He's okay. got to put the eating oh. at the drip sheet. We got a good start here. Did a little painting. 
Play a little chess. Is it my move already, Bernard? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, KC Crypto, this guy's a B.I.G. Okay. okay. I was thinking Eddie Fisher, the great the great chess player. What do you go think? Eddie, uh -huh. Go Eddie, go Eddie. Yeah. Go Eddie. Go Eddie, okay. go Eddie. Go Eddie. Go Eddie Fisher, it's Bobby Eddie. Fisher. All right, let's see. Ah. I'm going to go. I'm going to just, just go up here. There. here. Oh, you're going to lose this that game. sandwich is oh, probably no, cooking no. pretty good oh, if yes, that's plugged in. Oh, no. Hell no, taking those calls here. Live, let's Oh, yeah, paint. knapsack. Cut. Which Chess. one is the sidekick? Uh, and painting. Yeah, <laughs> exercise, too. That's right. Okay. Well, you're probably right, wondering. Your move. What should we this paint? Is, this is the sure feeling of having paint. too we much cold brew. Just igniting the community. <laughs> 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 <It's okay. laughs> like, okay, right, four right emails. Oh, you <laughs> 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 me. Oh, yeah, that looks good. good. Yeah. That's plugged in. Okay. It's a sandwich. Whoa. I mean, I'll eat it. Hi, Colin. Welcome to Let's Pay Cook. Play chess. I'm I want to do this. I want to host swim. a show just like there you this. Go. Take that guy. We're up the calls. Right How do you guys cooking? Fried egg sandwiches. Is me? Yeah, would you like one? What are you cooking? Fried egg. An egg. An egg. Fried with bread. This reminds me when we had Happily calls. I'll cook your wiener on there. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you, Colin. <laughs> Okay. Well, you know, we're about to get a couple of calls like that. <laughs> we're probably going to get a couple of calls. calls like that. Yeah, dude, lower the speed, dude. You don't need to be running that fast the whole time. Well, it is running. Well, now he's jogging. This is not a jog, though. This is a walk. Yeah, that take that one. No, no, no. There. Oh. Take it. Yes. Hello. Yo, I want to see you run as fast as you can, as fast as you can. All right. <laughs> okay. We'll the look on his face. He wants right, to entertain on, physically. He did this to himself. Three, four, four, he did five. this to himself. Here we go, Johnny. Okay, we're at five. Yeah. I'll do it six. It's your move, six dude. It's your move. Six is a good number. Six is good okay. enough. <laughs> yeah, six is fine, buddy. <laughs> You're going to fucking have a heart attack. Uh, Alex right Trebek there. said ten Shut isn't good enough. Let's go to 11. Sometimes this works. Oh, my God. Working multitasking can work. Oh. Did you just pull that shit on me? Friday sandwich. <laughs> there you go. Hey. If you can get another I'm sandwich, I'll be slow. fully impressed. Juggling careers and having the kids. We can do it all. Yeah. There you go. Get it done. Oh, right. you're, oh you're going to miss it. <laughs> you got it. Oh, he didn't oh, make it. That's fucking that hilarious. Egg sandwich. That last one was not enough egg on that sandwich to make it an egg sandwich. He had the smart idea before. He wiped it up with the white bread, put it back on. Yeah. But yeah, he I was like running six too. miles an hour before. But he was getting a little lazy with it. If you're going to do that, you got to have oh. at least 22 minutes in. You're giving your giving commercial time. According to Benus, this guy has been on Adult Swim before, and he technically, I guess, apparently oh. he was supposed to be on uh, Eric Andre, but he was not. Also, the new season for Eric Andre is fucking hilarious. I want. I bet. Love yeah. Eric. Love Eric. Ding dong. He's the best. Just, uh, ding dong. He does he... have quite a hog on him, and he likes yes, showing it. Yeah. In, uh, in Tampa. Yeah. I mean, in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, or Miami, whatever it was, I opened for Kevin Barnett, who was opening for him. So Kevin was nice enough to bring me along with him. That's, That's nice. really nice. Yeah. Eric is truly a wonderful man. Yeah. Yeah. If Eric has always New been York very nice to us. Yeah. If you're in the New York comedy scene at all uh, in the late 2000s, early 2010s, you saw Eric Andre's penis. Many and times. I actually think that Eric Andre probably didn't have that guy on the show because he stole that idea. Because I could see Eric Andre actually <laughs> being able to do all of those He would be able once. to do it. He would be, He would take those tools and really sing. He could sing through that. That's like, that guy, yeah. he's standing on the shoulder of giants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really Bunus. Yeah, his name is Bunus. What do you want? What's his name? Bunus? Bunus? Bunus. Bunus, the guy so who jogs, right. plays chess, cooks an egg sandwich, and uh, takes calls. Gary Kasparov. And paints. <laughs> Although he didn't do too much painting. Now I'm actually just being too critical of that guy. He's trying. You but are really. Did, that was an edited. Ver that was an edited down version of a full like ten minute show where he was running, painting, playing chess, taking calls, and cooking an egg sandwich for ten minutes straight. It really is why like a meth addict does get mad at you if you tell them they've done nothing with their day, where they're like, you don't even know what I've done today. It's like, but you've done nothing productive, but they have done a lot. Well, yeah, because they're dying. Yeah. yeah. The thing with asthma is, it's like it's like a longer death than the rest of ours. Well, let's end on a happy note. <gasps> let's right. end on a. Let's watch. We, we got. A I couple fucking more guess. Left. Yeah. Yes. Let's happy watch. notes are good. Let's watch one of those wonderful mashups that we all love so much. This one is one of the most impressive I've seen in a while. I'm so happy it's just not live Let's... footage from Alex Trebek's coffin. Scooby <laughs> Doo Pitch Black. Let's start. George's own.
Oh my god, I love it. Do you remember when we saw that uh, that ant in the cemetery in, in Atlanta? Yes. Huge guitar. This look at sweet. Yes, it's Lady Blonde. It's fucking awesome. Oh, we don't know that, sir. This really works. Phil McClintock, if you want to check him out. Best matchup guy in the ocean. Oh. Their host broke. Lots of trouble. Lots of bubble. Yeah, B-52. It's in a jam. It's in a giant world. Yeah, you fuckers. That's fucking so sweet. <laughs> like the instruments are comically large for this band, right? <laughs> They're evil. I love it. It's just, everything's huge. Real right here. Think about that cum nipple, guys. Uh, Remember that I cum just nipple. Forgot. I'm surprised Canada was so old. I, I was not If I was a lady, I would go with the drummer. <laughs> 